All right, video response of sorts. I'm going to start relabeling videos, um, trying to make them more uh, rational, <laughs> coherent, uh, relevant uh, titles, and such. So I'll see how these cameras work. So this camera over here is a Kodak Z6 uh, that I repaired. Got kind of cheap, cheap. Get it to stay in one position. And this one's uh, the original version of a flip. Um, it's actually got the same model number as this one, but they're very different cameras. This one takes two gigabyte for one hour. This one is one gigabyte for an hour. Um, but you know they look very different, but they have the same model number, which is strange. Anyway, it's a model um, F. That one's a, a 160, and this is a 260. But it's the same, you know, F model. Anyway, yeah. Okay, Drake equation. Um, all right, this, this tour guy did a video, but it's it's a common comes up all the time. People just keep saying, "Well, there's billions and billions and trillions and gazillions of stars, so it has to happen more than once." See, it happened here. That's logically vacant. There's no logic to that statement. Um, anything that's going to occur one time is going to have the perception like. Well, this must happen all the time, because look, I did it, it was really easy. Even though it might not have been really easy. Um, we have no idea how hard uh, creating that first reproducing cell is. And especially in the way it was created in that half the mechanism is reproducing the hardware, and half the mechanism is this DNA blueprint molecule. Um, and there's this relationship between that, the epigenetic part and the genetic part. And the original cell, that was probably, you know, the substance was epigenetics, you know, the hardware around the chromosomes, getting that part right, having that stuff divide, you know, the membrane, the mitochondrial elements, you know, the parts that were maintaining the DNA, copying the DNA. Um, so anyway, it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of a complex mechanism no matter where you start, no matter where you originate. I'm not going to answer that, right? Bullshit. Um, <laughs> so, you know, just, uh, uh, yeah, later, bastard. Um, it's really irritating. Bad timing and such. Anyway, um, so where was I? Yeah, so logically, um, uh, you know, I can give you a, a whole bunch of scenarios, and I can give you a scenario where I walk out my front door, and I meet five other people outside, named with the same name I have, same first name. I won't even get into the last name. No, same first name. And one of them's from China, one of them's from India, one of them's from Bangladesh, and one of them's from uh, whatever, some European hovel. Um, yeah, so what do you think the odds are? You, you know, I, the, the fact is it could happen, but it's extraordinarily unlikely to happen. Um, so then I can come up with scenarios for lightning. You know, lightning, I go outside, I get hit by lightning three times in, in the space of 20 seconds. Then all I have to do is double it six times in the space of 20 seconds. Um, th this is the, 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 the circumstance that could have created the first reproducing cell could be that extraordinary. And the evidence for that is the fact that with all of this time, that nature's had in a very rich environment, now even with oxygen freely available, lots of other new circumstances, lots of environments, ones with high oxygen, one with no oxygen, um, deep ocean, you know, where they're speculating the first life form might have formed in the volcanic vaults um, in that high temperature region. Um, you know, it, it's just numerous um, in specialized environments, high pressure, low pressure, all kinds of environments, and in none of those environments has another cell arisen that could reproduce itself. Not, a, not one single one. Not in the whole time period that we know of life being here. Well, I mean, we can't say that absolutely, but I'm just saying it seems logical because it hasn't happened. Um, and so we're missing any evidence of it and, and it should be there. It should have, if it happened, it should have been able to survive because it would have had a niche. And even the time that we have been monitoring it, there's no evidence of it existing in any kind of niche. Um, 
and uh, so it, it just the, all the evidence points to the fact that this is very rare this life thing in the universe the complexity this high is not what the universe does the universe is low complexity not high complexity and it's only in these little tiny regions of the universe that you have this opportunity for compounds to do what we did uh, what happened to us and it's just um, and then the, that, that's just the first step and there's a whole bunch of steps after that that have to take place for an organism to ever get to this consciousness thing to get this brain thing happening feelings that's another who knows what kind of barrier there is there what, what kind of bizarre mechanics have to exist for that to arise in an organism and become a um, mechanism of motivation and, and operation and functionality so anyway, there's just no logic behind the Drake equation. There's no facts behind it. It's it's uh, if if seven of the ten uh, elements are are legitimate um, probability equations, it doesn't matter because the three that aren't break the equation. There's just no point in putting those three in. You want to speculate on how what the odds are of of you know making a six-legged dachshund. Um, yeah, you can do that because we have some sort of evidence to go based on. But you're not going to be able to do anything with the troublesome equation of creating a reproducing organism, a reproducing cellular machine. Because it's only happened, as far as we know, one time on, in all of Earth's history. And even when it was an incredibly inviting environment for such an event, dead parts all over the place. I mean, if a car was just going to pop out at something, right? I mean, if you want to use the metaphor of a junkyard and a car arises out of the junk on some planet, you can't get a better junkyard than planet Earth for a biological life form to arise. I mean, all these dead parts all over that's just covered. The Earth is covered um, with biology, and uh, it's never happened. The parts have not put themselves together. They have not fallen into the right circumstance. Lightning hasn't struck the right number of times a second time. It only happened once. So all the logical evidence points to the argument, defends the argument, uh, that life is extremely rare, improbable, unlikely, and if even realistically possible, based on how bizarre a perfect storm create the first life form and there's no reason to believe from our perspective um, that the fact that we exist means it's it had to happen again or it has to happen again no matter how many permutations or experiments the universe does it might never make that mixture again and that's the simple truth so that's enough of a proof. So I'll label this volume one, and if somebody cares to respond, uh, the responses will increase incrementally uh, with the argument. But I think the proof is there. Logically proven, the Drake equation is junk science, garbage, useless. And <coughs> the counter argument that life is likely to be unlikely is more reasonable, a demonstrable from the facts statement to make. Yeah. It's more reasonable to assume, if that's all we can do, improbability of a reoccurrence somewhere else in the universe. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, we'll undo this. There's no light on this camera. Some people say they don't like the light because, you know, you can tell when the camera's on. I think the light is kind of, you know, because they want to surplicity, they want to secretly video people. But, you know, you can always put tape over the light, so I don't, I think it's better to have the light than not to have the light. Because, you know, I like knowing when the damn camera's actually on. Anyway, enough of the video. Thank you very much. Until next time.